Somebody is going through something right now. Sickness in your body. You've lost your job. You've lost your home. You've lost your car. You've lost your marriage. You've lost your kids. The economy has affected you and your family. My friend, you need a breakthrough. Hello, and welcome to It's Time for a Breakthrough, the outreach ministry of the House of Faith, Church of God in Christ, the house where faith manifests change with our pastor, Ola Mac A. Harris, Jr. Our church is located at 2934 Lowell Avenue. That's 2934 Lowell Avenue, here on the west side of Jacksonville, where the telephone number is 904-388-7428. That's 904-388-7428. We invite you to come and worship with us. Our Sunday school begins at 9.30 a.m., followed by morning worship at 11 o'clock a.m. Wednesday night and Friday night service both begin at 7.30 p.m. Well, it's time for a breakthrough. Prepare your hearts and minds to receive a word from the Lord. Well, good morning. And again, we do welcome you to It's Time for a Breakthrough, coming from the House of Faith Church of God in Christ. I'm First Lady Michelle Harris. And again, I just thank you for listening. I thank you for tuning in. It's always a great pleasure to encourage the people of God. And I pray that you are having a blessed week thus far. Amen. Amen. We just thank God for what God is doing. Amen. For truly, this is the day that the Lord has made. Amen. And we choose to rejoice and to be glad in it. Amen. We just thank you again for listening to us. Time for a breakthrough. It's coming from the house of faith. Church of God in Christ. We are the house where faith manifest change. Amen. How many know without faith is impossible to please God? Amen. Amen. Without faith, there is no way of you. you There's no way of pleasing God. Amen. But with faith, with faith, somebody needs to say with faith, with faith, all things are possible. Amen. Through him. Amen. Amen. So we just encourage you to hold on to your faith. Amen. To trust God. Oh, even the more. Amen. In the name of Jesus. I'm going to pray with you. Father God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we just thank you, oh God, for this opportunity, oh God. To, oh God, to speak to your people, oh God. To encourage their hearts on this morning, oh God. Oh God, we ask that you will speak to us, oh God. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. Send a word, oh God, that may encourage someone, oh God. Oh God, someone's faith needs to be elevated, oh God, on today, oh God. Oh God, we ask that you Elevate their faith on today, God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Lord, we just thank you, oh God, in the name of Jesus, we do pray. Amen. Amen. And I just want to just do just that, just to encourage you on this morning to trust God a little bit more. Amen. Take your faith to another level. Amen. Amen. We want to just encourage you to uh, trust God for your miracle, for your breakthrough. Amen. Sometimes we've been so many of us, we've been going through for so long. We've been praying and we've been fasting and we've been believing God. But now it's just time to take it to, a, to the next level. Amen. Amen. And as I was um, sitting, I was thinking about uh, the words, assume the position. Amen. How many know that it's time to us? To assume the position, oh God, to receive your miracle, to receive your breakthrough. And when we think about uh, those words, to assume the position, some different things come to mind. One thing that comes to mind, I, I think about, you know, God forbid any of us have ever been arrested or will be arrested. But we know how when the authorities say assume the position when it comes to the uh, the JSO, we know that sometimes that means to uh, maybe lift your hands, raise your hands up. And when I was I was thinking about the raising of the hand, amen, if we're going to assume the position, we need to get in a position of praise, amen. We need to raise our hands up to God. Let God know, okay, God. God, my hands up. I'm surrendering all to you on today. I'm giving it all to you, oh God. If we're going to get breakthroughs for our families and breakthroughs for our friends and breakthroughs for ourselves and our homes and our children, we need to surrender all. We got to position ourselves to be ready to God, to, to give up all to God. It's time to surrender all to God. Lord, my hands are up. I'm praising you, God. I'm giving all to you right now, God. Everything that I'm going through, everything that I'm facing, oh God, I'm giving it all to you. I'm giving you my family member. That's sick right now. Oh, God, I'm giving her to you. Oh, God, I'm believing you for her healing. Amen. Oh, amen. And another time, another um, thing that I think about when we say assume the position, I think about even when it, 
in reference to the military. In the military, they say, assume the, your position, amen, and that means it's get ready. Get ready because it's time to fight. It's time to, you know, it's time to get get in position, guns up, hands up or whatever. But it's time to get in position to fight. Amen. And if there's ever a time to fight, it's, the time is now. It's time to fight for our children, fight for our families, fight for our community. It's time to stand up and fight. Amen. And we can't fight, oh God, with weapons and with guns and with our own self. But it's time to fight with the word of God. Amen. So if you're going to get in position, another position you need to get in, you need to be getting into your word. Amen. It's time to pray. It's time to get into the word of God like never before it's time to hear from God amen amen because we want a breakthrough okay amen it's time for a breakthrough okay amen it's time for us to get to God and to receive what God has for us amen amen and, and as I was thinking today at, uh, on the word I I was looking and reading in Mark and um, I was looking at some of the positions that some of the people of God got in amen to receive their miracle I often think about Hannah how Hannah was going through she was she was barren we all know she was barren and she had an her adversary who was just constantly picking at her because she was able to have children but Hannah was not able to have children so she was picked on and she was um, tortured by her the enemy so often but Hannah was she when she had enough when she had got to a point where she couldn't take it anymore Hannah got into position and she began to pray she turned her head to God. She turned her face to God and she began to pray. Women of God, men of God, it's time to pray. Amen. We're going through in our homes. We're going through with our families, but it's time to pray. Once you get to that that point where you've had enough, you it's time to turn to God now. It's time to turn our faces to God. Amen. And cry out to God. Ask God for help. Lord, give me some direction. God, I need you. Only you can work this one out. Amen. Amen. But the passage that I'm... um going to come from today is coming from Mark chapter 1. Amen. In Mark chapter 1, um, it reads in verse 23, it said, and there was in, and there was in their synagogue, a, no, I'm going to back up. We're going to go all, we're going to go to verse 21. And it says, and they went into Capernaum and straightway on the Sabbath day, he entered into the synagogue and, and taught, and they were astonished. At his doctrine, this and we're talking about Jesus. Jesus went into the synagogue, and he began to teach, and he he began to uh, expound on the doctrine. Amen. And they were as astonished at his doctrine, for he taught them as that he had authority, and not as the scribes. And there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit, and he cried out, saying, "Let us alone! We have what have we to do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth?" Art thou come to destroy us? I know thee who art who thou art, the Holy One of God. And Jesus rebuked him, saying, Hold thy peace, and come out of him. And when the unclean spirit had torn him and cried with a loud voice, he came out of him. Amen. I'm going to stop right there. And because again we are talking about assuming the position. Amen. Amen. And this this man who, who was vested with spirit, unclean spirits, he was in that house. He was in the synagogue, the synagogue, which is the house of God. Amen. He was in place. Amen. So what I'm encouraging you today to get in place. Sometimes I know it's okay to hear the word on the radio. Amen. It's just good, good to watch it on television. But how many know that it's important to be in the house of God? Amen. Because in the house of God, there's a blessing. And in the house of God, there's deliverance. Amen. This young man, he's, he's in the house of God. Amen. And Jesus is in the house of God. And, and this, he's the unclean spirit recognize who Jesus was. How many know that if we need deliverance, amen, our children needs to, they need, are in need of deliverance, we need to bring them to the house of God. Amen. The word of God say we're two or three assembled together in my name. I will be in the midst. Amen. Jesus is in the midst. If we bring our children, bring our family, get to the house of God. Amen. It's time, amen, to us to get our homes and our families together, but let's gather our families up and go to the church. Amen. Let's get to the church house because we know there's a blessing in the house. Amen. Amen. And that's just what took place here in this, where the um, man was vets with spirit, unclean spirits. And Jesus, he received his healing because he was in the house. Amen. He made it to the house of God. Amen. Again, we're talking about being in position. Amen. Being in position to receive a miracle from God. Being in position, amen. Amen. To receive what God has for us. Amen. 
Amen. And I just thank God. Amen. Because, you know, it, it's when it comes to women and women of God, especially we do, we carry a whole lot. Amen. We we're faced with the bills. A lot of time, our husbands, they go to work, they go to work and they make the money. But the women, we, a lot of time, we the ones that are carrying the, the heavy burdens of the bills and the children and the things that they're going through. Amen. Amen. But women of God, we got to know that it's, it's time for getting our rightful place and our rightful place is on our knees, bowing down. Amen. And crying out to God. It's time to cry out and cry loud. Amen. Amen. Okay. We're going to go over to Mark chapter two In Mark chapter two. It said, and again, he entered into Capernaum after some days and it was noise that he was in the house and straightway. Many were gathered together in so much that there was no room to receive them. No, not so much as about the door. And he preached the word unto them. And they came unto him, bringing one sick of palsy, which was born of four. And when they could not come nigh unto him for the press, they uncovered the roof where he was. And when they had broken it up, they let down the bed wherein the sick of palsy lay. When Jesus saw their faith, he said unto the sick of palsy, Son, thy sins be forgiven thee. Amen. And now I, I just want to encourage you. Amen. Because I know maybe you have some friends. Maybe you have some loved ones. Amen. Who are unable. Amen. To maybe cry out for themselves. It's time for us to intercede. Amen. God is looking for someone who will stand in the gap for their friends. That will stand in the gap for their loved ones. Someone who will cry out. Amen. Who would go by any means necessary to get that person to Jesus. Amen. Whatever it takes. It's time for us to get our families to Jesus. Let's get our friends to Jesus. Some of our friends are have been diagnosed with some diseases. Oh man. Where the doctors have walking away and shaking their head. Amen. Amen. But we got to stand in the gap. It's time for us to care enough for our friends, care enough for our loved ones to take them to Jesus by any means necessary. And these people here, they were in position. They got in position today. They got in position. Amen. And they knew, okay, you know, whatever it takes, if we have to climb on the rooftop and pull the rooftop over, we're going to get our friend to Jesus. Amen. And that's what we're looking for today. That's what God is looking for. Someone who would say, you know what? Uh -uh, I got to get my friend to Jesus. He needs some help. He needs to deliverance he needs a healing amen if we gotta have faith amen where their faith is faith is weak oh god it's time for us to stand up and be strong amen and to believe god oh god for their breakthrough amen amen it's not always just about us but it's time to believe god for others amen amen in the name of jesus and so we just come to just encourage you to stand strong on your faith let your faith be elevated on today amen let your faith oh god go where other things can't go okay amen it's time for us oh god to trust god even the more Amen. In the name of Jesus, Father, we just thank you right now, God. We thank you for your word, God. We thank you, oh God, for how you come to just encourage us, oh God. Help us to be in position, oh God. Help us, oh God, to get in position, oh God, that we may receive a miracle from you, God. That we may receive breakthroughs for our families, for our friends, for our loved ones on today, oh God. Oh God, we need you right now, God. We know that, oh God, without you, we can't do anything, oh God. Oh God, we ask that you continue to build the faith of your believers on today, God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we just thank you and we're Praise your God in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you for listening to It's Time for a Breakthrough. We praise God for your breakthrough, and we would love to hear from you. So please feel free to write us, send prayer requests, praise reports, or donations to the House of Faith, Church of God in Christ, 2934 Lowell Avenue. Jacksonville, Florida, 32254. Or email us at eldermhol at gmail.com. That's E L D E R M H O L at gmail.com. Have a blessed day in the Lord.